Good morning, it's the 8th of December. I'm Joe Neighbour from Signal Centre and today it's time for commodities. So we're going to take a look at some charts on the oil and natural gas side of things today. In terms of the latest news and what's moving these markets at the moment, oil prices did post significant gains yesterday with further recoveries from the heavy sell-off that we recorded late last week. There were reduced fears surrounding the Omicron variant despite a negative impact on international travel, but the underlying optimism over demand conditions remains pretty healthy. The EIA raised its 2022 crude oil demand estimate and WTI strengthened to 10 day highs above $72 a barrel. We do have the inventories later today, but there has been a real sort of shift towards riskier assets over the last 24 to 48 hours. And of course, that's having a positive impact on oil. So we've got the oil chart in front of us today. This is the WTI price. Um, obviously, we've got the daily chart here, which displays what's gone on previous and gives us a bit of an indication about what we can expect on the trend side of things. So we were trading within a really nice bullish trend channel that broke on the big volatility swing that we saw a couple of weeks ago now. And as you can see, we had this candle here that was posted on the 26th of November. A really impulsive move to the downside, taking out support at 74.82 and in the process invalidating this bullish channel as well. In terms of the sell off, we saw that move down to close to the 61.70 support level. That also overextended from a 38.2% Fib level at 65.40. And that was relevant from these lows on the 2nd of November last year in 2020 to the most recent highs that we posted here on the 25th of October. So so all in all, decent bounce from these levels. We do have now the key retest on the upside of that 74.82 level to contend with. It looks as though price is going to get there in the next few sessions or so and give that a test. And then it'll be a key measure to see whether or not the bulls have the appetite to get back above this and try and move on towards those previous highs or whether this is going to prove a really stiff test of resistance and we could see further selling. I have been talking about in various videos this week the potential for a top pattern to be taking shape here on oil. Now, please excuse the crude drawing here. Um, it is you know, potentially starting to take shape. It is only potential at this stage and it's very speculative to call this. But what I am noticing is that price is starting to round off a little bit. And if this does do a job as resistance at 74.82, then we could indeed form some form of right shoulder to complete some sort of top pattern on the daily charts. Just something to bear in mind. Um, at the moment, you know, I, I'm more concerned about how we react to this 7482 level if we can get back above that on a closing basis and appetite remains strong and demand remains strong for oil then i think we could go on to hit those highs again up at 84 uh, 85 uh, dollar barrel uh, mark so looking pretty good on that front if we take a quick look at uh, brent it's a similar sort of situation on the technicals we did see a break of this channel this impulsive move lower on the 26th of november the key level to watch here is at 77.39 in my mind we've had three consecutive days of strong gains following this really big reversal that we saw on the 2nd of december posting a really impressive hammer candle that came just in front of this key support here from the lows that we posted in august around about 64 dollars 40 um, so it looks like we're going to get a test of this resistance level pretty soon again is there some sort of rounding formation taking shape here on a longer term time frame something to bear in mind and if we can't make new highs then you know and we make a, a lower high then we may be in the process of forming a top finally just going to finish off on natural gas that hasn't been uh, as bullish as what we've seen with oil. We saw a breakdown through support at 4.76, completely invalidating also a 38.2% Fib level in the process. That's from these lows back here in June last year. Did, no, uh, did absolutely nothing as support uh, and we've continued to move lower. In fact, gapped lower between the 3rd and the 6th of December and also in the process of that took out this uptrend line that goes back to those lows in June last year. So quite an important level. So now from a technical side of things, we have a gap to reference. So if we go by the close of trade on the 3rd of December, 
that is where we need to get to in order to fill this gap. So if we do fill this gap, then the technicians among you, people who look at charts, will know that gaps are often filled and that can be a good opportunity to set fresh positions uh, in line with where the price gap to. So obviously we gap down, therefore we would expect the price to continue moving down. So from a technical perspective, if you're looking to maybe set shorts into that $4.07 level, expecting a continuation lower. The next key level for me to watch on the downside is at 61.8% FIB level at $3.43. And I think if we can get down to those sorts of levels, we've also got this previous high here from the 3rd of October. So a nice bit of confluence for us to try and target on the downside with natural gas. But given that we've seen this breakdown and a rounding sort of top formation form here, uh, I think it's reasonable to expect that we could have seen a shift in trend in this and therefore the bias will be bearish over the short to medium term. Just if this is to be uh, a top pattern that we're going to um, look for, then we would have a measured move target on the downside of around about $3. Let me just see if that marries up with any other FIB levels, particularly the 78.6. It's just kind of in the middle of the 61.8 and the 78.6 on that one. So... Quite interesting. I think you know that can't be ruled out, and certainly given the break of the top trend, uh, the top pattern here to the downside, and a break of this trend line, we could be looking for lower prices here. So be careful if you trade in these markets. We do have these inventories at 3:30 today, which will, of course, have an impact on the prices of oil, particularly. Um, and until next week, when we go again on the oil price charts, uh, trade safe, everybody, and have a great week. Goodbye.